Hello and welcome back to the Achievement Planner and today I'm coming to you with another update for Minecraft and it's the 1.21 update and it's, the, uh, it's called the Tricky Trials update. Yes, and the Tricky Trials update is my favorite update. Is it really? Yes, it is. Um, yeah, I, I love it so much. I love I love the trial chambers and uh, I play I played this with T-Shark B. He did not like them and I've also played this with my friend um, uh, Survivor's Handbook. And he didn't like it. Uh, I, I don't know if he liked it. I mean, I played with a whole bunch of people uh, on his stream, and uh, it, it was interesting. The trial chambers are going to be something that either you love or you don't love. Yeah. Um, and uh, finding them is easy, but getting the right materials you're going to need for these achievements is hard. So, let me go over these achievements, by the way. Four achievements for 60 gamer score. 10 out of 10 difficulty? Are you kidding me? Why is it so hard? It's hard, 10 out of 10 difficulty, because of randomness because the, the the chance to get some of the items you need are ridiculously hard yeah so um difficulty wise i would say by yourself maybe like five out of ten if you have a shield and if you have armor if you're with friends it's going to be way easier maybe four three out of ten i didn't find it that hard um but if you're not prepared and you don't have a shield, you're going to find it much harder. So this this really is a big range. But ba just based on time you're going to have to spend, I had to use chunk base, like I usually do, to find a trial chamber. Because to look for these things, I just don't have time to spend hours looking. Uh, I found one. I got to one. And then I, then I actually, well, I'll explain what to do with the saves. Completion time, one to two plus hours. Yeah, it could take forever. Um, playthrough number one, all achievements. Yeah, however, they added a lot of good things to it. Uh, like enchanted apples. I'll, I'll explain. All right, category 24. And it's 24. If, if you ever watch any of my Minecraft achievement plans, uh, my original Minecraft achievement plan went up to like 21 or 22, I forget. And then all the DLCs are just 23 and 24. So here we are. Tricky Trials update achievement. Four achievements for 60 gamer score. So the first one has nothing to do with the Tricky Trials at all. Super easy. Number one, crafters, crafting, crafters. Oh my god, <laughs> that was weird. All right, 10 gamer score. Be near a crafter when it crafts a crafter. Wow, all right. So there's a new thing in Minecraft called a crafter. And it's basically a self-crafting machine. And if you put um, a lever on it and you press the lever, it will craft something that's in it. So when you build a crafter, which um, I'm pr I'll probably put up the recipe up here, how to build it, because I don't remember off the top of my head right now. But once you build it and it has like a, you know, a crafting table in it, all right, you built it, you put it down, you put a lever on it, you put inside the recipe that I just put up for a crafter, you press the lever and the crafter will build another crafter. Yeah, hopefully that made sense. That's all you have to do for that. So as long as you have these materials and there's a new material in there, um, it, it almost looks like a dispenser, but it's not, it's a dropper. And it's actually kind of funny because it's a dispenser with a smiling face. Yeah, it's really weird. Anyway, so you need the droppers for that. I was like, what? A new item? Yeah, so, but it, you'll, you'll get the no problem. So then, once you find um, a, trial, a, a trial chamber, let's say you find it randomly. Let's say you look for it. It doesn't matter how you find it, all right? I built a path going to it. A, a couple of them. I, I've done this a bunch of times. And I got ready to go into this trial chamber. So what the trial chamber is is there are different areas there's the first area I'm trying to think how many areas one two three four five six there are about five or six areas that you can go to and there are these spawners and the spawners spawn a whole bunch of um uh you know mobs in fact there are new mobs there's a wind mob like this breeze thing that blows uh, a wind charge at you and it's really really interesting and then there are these new skeletons that shoot poison arrows at you and that's why you have your shield. You can block all the arrows. It's going to be no problem. In fact, they bounce off and hit back at them. So it's really good. I just stayed in the corner by myself and I did it by myself. And I stayed in the corner, let the shield knock it into everybody. And then I beat all these trial areas. Now, when you beat a trial chamber in from their spawner, when they're done spawning, it comes out a key. Uh, it comes out a key. A key comes out. Okay. And then the keys you can use. It's not always a key. But the keys you can use to unlock vaults. They're like little like chests. And you unlock it and good stuff comes out. It's so good sometimes that when I used some of them, I got an enchanted apple. I was like, what? I got armor trims. I got so many good things. Anyway, so what you need to do is you need to get um, 
an ominous potion. So now, I didn't have any ominous potions, and I didn't want to go fight um, an, a, a pillager to get one, a pillager captain to get one. So, I just did the trial chambers, whatever. Did, uh, as one of the awards, um, one of the rewards I got from the, the vaults, I got was three different ominous potions. I was like, okay. So I drank one, and as long as I drank it and I it, ha it was going, it turned into an ominous um, trial chamber. Yeah. So, which is a lot harder. It still was totally doable, but like, you're going to get more mobs. They're going to be harder mobs. They're going to be faster. So all you need to do is uh, beat um, one wave. You just have to beat one wave during the Ominous uh, trial. Um, T-Shark B, when he played with me, I actually... I um, he, hadn't drank, he hadn't drank the Ominous potion. I drank it. And I was like, is he going to get the achievement? And he did get the achievement. Only one person needs to drink this thing in order for it to count for everybody. All right, I did test that. So once you get the ominous trial keys, there are different spots in there that have different vaults, ominous vaults. And once you go to an ominous vault, oh, by the way, this achievement doesn't unlock until you actually go to the ominous vault, which are usually higher up and hard to get to. And once you use the key on that, this achievement will unlock, all right? In that vault, there is a chance of getting um, a heavy core, by the way. But yeah, the heavy cores are good. But that's where you get the good stuff. So basically, all right, there are waves of mobs coming out spawning. And once you, once you beat them, usually they'll drop a key. If you drink an ominous potion, you get ominous trials. And you get ominous key for the ominous vault. All right, hopefully that all makes sense, all right? Once you open an ominous vault, you get the achievement. Now, number three, who needs rockets? 10 gamer score. Use a wind charge to launch yourself upward eight blocks. Now, throughout the, the entire trial chamber, I actually found wind charges just randomly in different places. Um, I found them in chests, a whole bunch. Also, the the the, the breeze enemies, I forget the name, they drop breeze rods and you could turn those into wind charge. So all you have to do with these wind charges, once you have them, is jump down and kind of, I just had like 30 or 20 of them and I kept spawning the wind charge facing the ground and it kept pushing me up into the air. As long as you get pushed up eight blocks, which I didn't find very hard at all. And T-Shark B did this too, it was really easy. Then you get the achievement. Yeah, that's all you have to do for that. Wind charges are not hard to find. Uh, so make sure you save the breeze rods. And then four, over overkill. Uh, deal 50 hearts of damage in a single hit using the mace. This was so irritating, I almost gave up. But um, it really was not as hard as I thought it was. So let me explain how to make this easier. First of all, how do you get a mace? A mace has got to be one of the rarest things I've ever seen in Minecraft. Um, you need a heavy core, which you only get... From an ominous ominous vault during an, after you drink the ominous potion all right that means you would need an ominous key which doesn't always drop you also need breeze rods which you'll have plenty of so if once you have a heavy cord and a breeze rod put them together you have a mace okay so now um in order to make sure i didn't have to go to a hundred different uh trials what i did was i made a copy of my world all right you know and you know what honestly i don't have time to go to every single uh, trial chambers. I made a copy of my world and I went into the game and I t and oh this was at a point when I had like five ominous trial keys ready all right because the the you know you're gonna do a whole bunch you're gonna get a lot of keys so I had like five ready so I went to each of the ominous vaults and I opened them and if I didn't get um, a heavy core I I went back out I deleted that I made another copy of my of my world um, I did it again eventually I ended up getting a heavy core. Uh, that is how rare this is that I had to go to this length of, to do it So once I had the mace all right, I was like yes, I got a heavy core now what all right? I made the mace I went home and then um, I tried to like jump down and hit enemies for 50 hearts damage. That's a lot That's a lot of hearts So you just you cannot just get normal enemies and for in my case if you're doing it 50 blocks up Which you would really need it to do it someone did the math for this 50 blocks up You're gonna jump down and hit them um, for they, they was despawned for me around 40 something. So what I needed to do, I also picked up a book of, um, five level five density. I know like what's density. I have never heard of that before, but people say that it does more damage. So I added the five density, um, to the five density book to the mace and that someone figured out you only need to jump down 14 blocks in order to hit something. And then when you hit it, it goes, like with the mace, I know sound effect was, was great, but um, hopefully that makes sense. You need to basically 
jump down off of something and smash something and cause 50 hearts damage. I think most enemies aren't 50 hearts. That's the problem. So I built up 14 blocks um, and then I jumped down eventually and I hit a llama, the poor llama. And I got it. I got the achievement. A lot of people do this with the warden because he's got a lot of hearts, All right, You jump down, you hit, and yeah, just make 50 hearts damage go. Uh, the llama must have a lot more hearts than the enemies. I don't know, whatever. So my problem was though, because I had the five density, I only needed to go 14 or 15 blocks above them and do it. I kept trying to go like 40 up and going down and it wouldn't work and I did it for an hour literally an hour of just trying to do it I could never get that hit so yeah you don't need to actually go up that high now you should get a density book so maybe talk to villagers try to get one by the way you can you can trade for a map for trial chambers with the with the villagers I think the um uh the oh, the, the cartographer has the maps yeah so hopefully this last one made sense for what I'm talking about. You need to find something that really has a lot of damage. A warden, the llama worked for me, like I said. Um, try to find a density book, put it on there. The more density you have on your mace, the more damage you do. I had the five density from a uh, an ominous vault in the ominous chamber. So I was like, yes. Anyway, 14 blocks down, I hit it. And I got this achievement, finally. Yeah, anyway, this is the whole, this is the whole update. Um, you know, this, this could be one of the easiest things you do, or this could be one of the most time consuming. Hopefully it'll be easy for you. And if you have any other questions, let me know and I'll talk to you next time on the Achievement Planner.